All right, time for the corgis uh, front and back paws. Um, so they're basically the same. The front paws are actually a little bit smaller than the back paws. So I'll show you both, but there's only a small difference in between those two. So I'll start with the front paws first. Um, I'm act there's actually two ways to start these circles. So there, there's two ways to start this. So this is the first way. So I'm, I'm going to make my knot um, right here. And then I'm going to chain two. Just two. So one and two. And then what you're going to do, you're actually going to put sing, six, sorry, six single crochet into this hole right here. So by the end of it, you should have six um, going around in a circle. So it kind of will look like this. And I'll fast forward this part. Okay, so you should have it, you should be done once you have six, so you should have six stitches all around. And yes, we are starting with white for the paws first, so you should have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it should look like a circle like this, okay? Um, so the other way is the way that I use, and it's called a magic ring, and it's um, a little bit different, but I think, I, for me, I think it creates a better circle. But if you can't do this, you can go back to the other way that I just showed you. So this is going to be the magic ring. So for the magic ring, we're gonna actually take our yarn and I usually put to get the width, I guess you would say. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wrap this around my hand once and then make sure that it's crossed right there. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my hook, I'm gonna put it under that first yarn and grab the second yarn and pull it through like this. And then, I'm gonna go through it slowly, and then I'm going to take this yarn that I still have left and uh, yarn over, basically, and pull through that loop I made and pull it tight. And then once I have it pulled tight, I'm gonna make this a little bit slower, smaller. Um, so we have this now. And now we have a little ring on the bottom and a tail here. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make sure that this stays the same, this will not change. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna make six single crochets in this huge loop right here. Um, so it's very easy. It's the same thing, you're gonna make six single crochets. So you're gonna go into the hole right there and you're gonna grab some yarn, pull it through and then yarn over and pull through again. And I also use my pinky to keep the circle big. So I have made one now. And then I'm gonna keep going. So yeah, same thing in the circle, I'm gonna go in the circle, pull yarn through, yarn over, and pull through. So now two. Okay, keep going until you have six. And now I have six. You should be able to see six stitches, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then this is the fun part. Uh, you're gonna let go of that yarn that you were holding earlier and you see the, the circle still here and the little tail here. This is why it's called a magic ring. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna pull this tail here and you should see that circle disappear and you should be able to have this left over, which is your ring okay and this one we don't need anymore and now we have our first row done and then as i'm making it i would just go in a circle and we'll pull these two sides together for the second row what we're the pattern for the second row is going to be uh one single stitch and then two single stitch in the next stitch. Oops, sorry. So yeah, so one single stitch and then two single stitches in the next stitch. So let's go one, and 
and then two single stitches in this next stitch. Okay, and all the way around. So by the end of it, you should have nine stitches, okay? Okay, you should have something looking like this now. We did two rows, and you should have nine stitches now all the way around. And then for the next three, four, and five, row three, four, and five, you're going to use um, the white yarn and just single stitch nine uh, until row five. Okay, so now we have, I have my five rows. I'm about to finish my um, last stitch for the fifth row, but we're gonna change color here. So before I do that, I'm gonna double check that I have five rows. So if you count starting from the circle now here, that's one, and then you just keep going up the sides. Two, three, four, five. So I have five rows. It should be the same if you count on the other side. Um, one, two, three, four, and five. I should have five rows. So I'm gonna do my last stitch for my last row here. And again, before you do the last uh, yarn over, you're actually gonna pick up your new color, which is going to be your uh, brown, but I'm using a different color for mine, uh, which is my charcoal. Um, so you're, you're gonna loop it over your, your hook, same thing as last time. And you're gonna pull that color through. So you have, you're now work, working with that new yarn. And then I like to stitch in a few stitches first. So I have that yarn secured. All right, so I have that new yarn. I'm actually gonna cut off the yarn that's attached right now. And I'm also gonna cut off the other white yarn with the long tail here. I'm also gonna cut that off because it's in my way. And I'm gonna stuff this one in the paw here. And then I'm gonna tie a knot with the charcoal and the white. And then there's too much of this excess yarn, so I'm just going to stuff the yarn inside so I don't see it. So yes, you're gonna keep going all the way around with the new color uh, for row six, seven, and eight from the front paw. All right, now once that you're done, I did a little more than I needed to for my paw, but you only need to up to row nine, so it should look kind of small because corgis have smaller legs. Uh, but once you're done, all you're going to do is you're gonna leave a longer piece of yarn for sewing it onto the body. So I would cut it a little bit further down, maybe like, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't need too much yarn, so like 30 centimeters, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. The longer the better for when you're sewing it, but we don't wanna waste too much yarn. So 30 centimeters about there for me. And then you're going to basically yarn over and pull the whole yarn through and pull it so it's tight now. What I also like to do is I like to go into the next stitch right here with my hook and I like to put my, get my the yarn that uh, it has left over and pull it through to kind of keep it, give it a cleaner look than it bulging out at the end. And then all you're gonna do is stuff it with some filling, not too much because it's a very small paw and then you're done with the front paw. Okay, all right, time for the back paw. We're starting with the same color yarn, which is the white, and I'm gonna make my magic ring. Hook under, pull through, oops. Make that knot and secure it and same thing we're gonna make we're gonna put six uh, single crochets into the uh, magic ring okay once you have six 
Remember this is the fun part, pull on this end and it should all shrink together. Or you can do the chain too, the chaining one as well if you like, it doesn't matter. And then for the second row, same thing, we're going to do one single crochet and then two increase uh, to make sure that you have a nine at the end. Okay, so it's basically the same thing as the front paw. So one and then increase. All right, so now that you have your nine, uh, you're going to now single stitch uh, in rows three, four, five, and six. So up to row six, we're gonna do single stitches nine times. All right, so you should now have six row. I'm on my last stitch for the six rows, but you should have six rows of the white. Uh, yeah, so again, you're gonna change color to your next color at this point. Okay, now that you have changed color, it is the same thing as the front paw. We're just doing row seven, eight, and nine in this color. And then what we're doing, gonna do something different for the last row. All right, this is the last step for the back paw. So once you have row nine, again, mine's a little bit bigger. Uh, this is what you're gonna do for the last row. So row 10 is um, you're going to single crochet one and then decrease one so that by the end you should have six stitches. Okay, so uh, single crochet one and then decrease one. So again, you take the front loop and then the other front loop, pull yarn through both and then yarn over, pull through both. Okay, so two more times. All right, and when you're done that, you're going to again cut off a longer piece of tail because again, we're sewing this onto the body. About 30 centimeters again. Doesn't matter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and pull through and pull it tight. And then again, because because it sticks up like this, you can see I like to go into the next stitch uh, and pull the yarn through like that. And so it doesn't really stick up anymore. You see over there. And then you're gonna fill it with stuffing. And if you actually wanted to fill it with stuffing before this row, it might be easier. Um, but if you are filling it with this size hole, um, you might need something to push the filling in. But yes, you can fill it in now. And now you should have, you now you can do the front paw and back paw. So the only difference, the difference that you can probably see is that there's more white in the back paw. Um, but if you also want to customize it to hazel or to whatever uh, you want it to, you can as well. But the front paw should be, has less white rows than the back paws. Okay, so when you're done, you should have four paws in total. And the back leg is a little bit longer than the front paw as well, size-wise, uh, round-wise. But yeah, so that's, that's how you're going to do the front and back paws.